you. I had to be honest with you. It'd be worse if I let it go on. Worse? My marriage wrecked. I'm sorry. You haven't just ended a fling, you know. You've destroyed everything my life was based on. Everything I thought was the norm. That's not fair, Becky. <laughs> fair. We're both adults. Meaning? Meaning. I never let you on or lied to you. I just didn't realise it meant more to you than me. Thanks. Hi. You come straight to Zaya, Zoe. Oh, she looks fine to me. She really likes living at home farm. Zoe's very busy. She's got a lot of calls to make, haven't you? Bye. Bye. I know what you're upset about. You and Dad have had a row. Big deal. You always make it up. Everything will be all right then, won't it? You're not at the tea rooms then? Sam, I'm just going. Uh, he's not answering. Who? Uh, Mr Pollard. Well, perhaps he's having a lie in. Oh. Good night last night. That was all right. You and Mick looked to be getting on OK. I couldn't do much else, could I? Didn't you like him? You fancy jazz, don't you? Of course I don't. Well, it's probably just as well. How come? Nothing. Why? What did he say? I just don't think he's very interested, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you! <laughs> See you later. <laughs> it's a soft name anyway, Jez. Come on, then. Let's see if he's there. Who? Oh. Eric! Oh. Do you want a coffee? I know you're awake. Don't be so childish! Me? Childish? Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Cavorting with a schoolboy. I've already explained. Oh, you must think me as green as grass. You kissed him. Right in front of me! He was low. Oh, well, I bet that certainly lifted up his spirits. What do I have to say to make you believe me? Nothing, Dee. I saw you. I'm telling you the truth. The truth is you used me as a meal ticket, as a passport, a, a comfortable life. No, Eric. Yes, Eric! When you should know me well enough not to play games. Not a good idea. You always say I should talk to you about things when I'm upset. And I'm your mother. That's what I'm for. So who do you talk to when you're upset? Why can you talk to Zoe and not me? Look, Dad and I just need some space. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. What's going on? Come in, make yourself at home. Where's that little lasted husband of yours? That's my dad you're talking about. Yes, and he has left me high and dry. He's in Germany. Germany? What's he doing there? My phone hasn't stopped. Clients wanting to know about this team building course. Team building? Is it being cancelled or what? I'm not sure. That isn't good enough. Right. Well, let's go and look at his paperwork, shall we? He led me to believe he was reliable. Fine. You've made your point. Let's just try and sort it out. You know what's happening, don't you? Yeah. Tell me. Everything's a mess, Emma. That's what's going on. Well... In a minute, love. I'll take it for her. <laughs> hey, she can make a decent brew, can you, missus? Champion, love, look. I think it's pretty for a scrappy hard love. It's the last legs when I got it. Don't be daft, Ned. I'll soon get this sorted. Who built to last with these? Can you fix it? Oh, it needs a seal. Look, do you mind if I get off? Funny, we're up to our eyes in lambing down at Emmerdale. Nah, no problem. 
Be right as ninepence by the time you get back. Brilliant. Right then. See you, love. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you, Zach. See you, Ned. Any more import? Uh, I think so. Don't pamper him, Jan. It makes him worse. Go and get some yourself, then. Oh, no, I'll let you yeah, I'll tell you, some of you are the best neighbours we've ever had. You're the only ones who have put up with them for more than a week at a time. Eh? Well, I'll get lived here years and never complained. Mind you, he were deaf and never set foot out at the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you why we get on. It's because you're outcasts, like us. Zach? Well, it's true, Lisa, darling, no point wrapping it up. They all think that we are thieves and that Johnny is barking mad. Look, shut it now! It's all right. It, it doesn't sound so bad when you say it out loud. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that on the broom now. And if there's a bit of pie or something, at least you were that keen to get on the job, she didn't make me breakfast. <laughs> Told you not to encourage him, Jan. <laughs> Can you let me into Hutton? We're busy. Hmm, looks like it. What do you want to go out of town for? Well, I'm bored. Well, you can price some tins up. So you've got to take it easy, Viv. Well, then she can sit down. Look, I can run you in later if I get a break. See how it goes, eh? Where's the harm in it? As long as it's not the thin end of the wedge. I thought she might have learned her lesson this time. I never lesson to learn, Viv. She's still a kid. Two quid, mate. Cheers. Kelly's food are back. Oh, she'd be pleased to see her old mates, you know. Or someone her own age, anyway. Oh, uh, no. These aren't for Kelly. Send her more regards, though. Well, that was heartfelt. And I wonder who he's after. See you again, bye. No, I've, I've never gone for men in uniform, me. Yeah, I know. It's what's inside them that's important. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Someone dependable. I would have thought you'd have gone for dashing time. Yeah, look where that got me. He's not answering. Sam, he's probably out. Where? Dee's up there. Why aren't she opening door? She probably knows it's you, love. <laughs> Why? What have I done? Oh, never mind, Sam. Well, I, I've not had my orders for the day. No, it's all right, love. I'll find you a brush in a minute and you can clean the front porch out. I mean, doing a job like that, they've proved they're responsible, haven't they? What job? Fireman. They look daft in them yellow hats. <laughs> hey, you're a bit early for work, aren't you? Oh, uh, I need to see Dee. Uh, well... Go away, Sam. He's not here. Dee, let me in. <sighs> what do you want? Please. We don't have to pretend anymore. Leave me alone. Where is he? I want to speak to him. Don't be stupid. Well, can't we even talk? Go. What's going on? Make him go away, Kathy. You heard her well. It's got nothing to do with you. She's asked you to leave. I'm not some kind of stalker. We love each other. We don't. You kiss me. There's nothing between us. Please go. This isn't the way it should be. Do you want me to stay? Yeah. You don't want to take any notice of Zach, you know. Put it this way. You're here. Who else has shown the face, eh? There you are. Another visitor. Oh, oh, then I'll get you that tea, Miss Delta. What's up? Is uh, Mrs. Glover in? Who wants to know? An Ackroyd career. Oh, she's uh, gone shopping in Leeds. Won't be back while late. I am on her side, you know. Of course, when I had my place, I never had time for boozing at dinner time. Do you know what time we were up to lambing last night? <sighs> it's not bad early, this. Well, don't look at me. I'm skinned. I can't get you one. Oh, now then. 
They served up a bit of my pension when I were inside. You weren't inside. You were in hospital. Well, it's the same difference. So, if I can't buy a pair of farmers a pint of ale, it's a right poor do. Same again. Yeah, please. Aye. It's you and me in 20 years, Ned. Yeah, at least you got your kids to take over from you. But if there's anything for them to take over... It's a young man's game, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's a mug's game. Look, Janice, I've investigated the tapes before. I know what they're like. I just want to put your side of the story. Please, go away! If you don't talk to me, people will think you've got something to hide. You what? If you don't leave that pool alone, I'll... Yes? I'll cob that tape recorder and you'll slut it, it, I you after it. Are you, uh, are you threatening me? Ten out of ten. You must have been to college, you. Actually, um, I don't think this is any of your business, Mr... Dingle. This is Zachariah Dingle speaking. If you don't get off this private property, I will not be responsible for my action. Over and out. I'll be back. I knew you'd know what to do, Zach. You're right, Pat. Why won't they leave me alone? Oh, she'll not be back in an early. <laughs> Oh, it looks sad, Ned and Roy. I didn't mean to cause all this trouble. Well, just give us a knock if she shows her face again. I never hurt James. I never meant to. We know. How can people know what was going through my mind? <laughs> That's the last thing they're interested in. All she wants is to make a name for herself. It'll never be the way it was. The only people who took any notice of me then were three lovely kids and a smashing husband. How can Eric think I would go with someone else? He's probably insecure. And you and Will, what? you... What? Well, you do seem to spend a lot of time together. We work together. Well, I've hardly noticed you laughing and joking with Marlon. Do you think there's something between us? No, I'm just trying to see it from Eric's point of view. Well, if Eric wasn't so grumpy, I might spend more time with him. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, no, not now, Betty. Dee de la Cruz. The Filipino Embassy have been in touch. Eric's gone to the authorities. Look, I'm, I'm legally married. I've got the papers. Could you sit down, Mrs Pollard, please? You know I'm married. Dee, just sit down. Let's hear what the officer has to say. Well, as I say, the Embassy have been in touch. What's happening? Your family have been unable to contact you. Apparently they have written and tried to phone. Well, they know I'm here. I'm afraid I have some bad news. It's your mother. Jack, could you take over? I need to get the kids their tea. Is that the time? I'll do it. I'm not that far gone. I... Yeah, why not? Go on then. Go over to Mr. Althwaite. Oh! Uh, there we are. Uh, now, you want to get this? with a you as soon as possible. I know. I'll do that for you as well, if you like. What? So you can go start mourning to all and sundry that Jack's taken advantage like? Well, it wouldn't be if he paid us. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be a farmer. You know I've got no money to throw around. I know you say you've got no, but I bet you've got a pound or two to keep an old fella to be a money. <laughs> we could use an extra pair of hands at the moment. Oh, what a gem. <laughs> Aye, go on then. We'll give it a try. <laughs> A back chat might keep you on your toes. Oh, very funny. <laughs> now then, you'll be, uh, you'll be wanting this. Maybe on track to your boat when they're selling off my stock. Well, the one that doesn't go? Aye, well, it'll go now with this in it. Where did you get that? Well, it were my tractor. You cheeky old devil. They were all square now, eh? 
We'll have to watch him. <laughs> As they said, I was senile. Oh, hi. Is Tony around? No. I uh, wondered if you needed any help with the activity centre. I should have some free time next week. It's the school holidays. No, I don't think so. Look, I know you can't afford to pay extra staff. I just enjoy helping out. We don't need anyone. Have I done something to upset you? The activity centre is closing down. Since when? Since Tony and I split up. Mum? <laughs> What if my granddad gets back? <gasps> Tough. Well, he's my granddad. Luke, we took him in out of the goodness of our hearts, so now you expect me to go celibate? No, of course I, I don't. I think I should get extra rations, really, out of gratitude. <laughs> You'll be lucky. Come here and get a lot of this. <laughs> I've blown it. I thought you were my granddad. Bog off. I've messed up. Major, he knows about me and Dee. Eric? Yeah, she's refusing to see me now. So, so what, what, what's he going to do now? Who cares? Well, that business has got to be kept running. You can go down the pan for all I care. Oh, it's all right for you doing it for the pocket money. It's my livelihood. Is that all you're thinking about? Couldn't care about me, could you? Thanks a lot. That's right, cocker. Don't be so rotten. Give us a kiss. I'm not in the mood now. <sighs> what was he on about? Give us a kiss and I'll tell you. Don't you find success a great, you know, aphrodisiac? Yeah. Which is probably why you aren't turning me on. Well, you should grab your chance while you can, really. <coughs> Things are going my way. <laughs> You're nuts, you. Why can you talk to Rachel and not me? Look, you know things haven't been right between your dad and me. I didn't know he wasn't coming back. Well, it's not definite. I, I don't know what's happening. Why didn't he say something? He was probably too upset. Great. So he just walked out and left me. Well, you didn't he? And I'm still treated like the stupid little kid. Look, it's us that have messed up, not you. Yeah, so it's like it doesn't affect me. Did you think I wouldn't notice? It's probably that we're just too wrapped up in ourselves, selfish. I thought things were going so well with the activity centre and everything. Now you've got a part-time job. There must be some other reason. He's got another woman, hasn't he? No, of course not. No. No, no one put up with him being bossy like you do. Yeah, you mustn't blame him. Had a mother been ill long, do you think? No, it just seemed to come out of the blue. <laughs> She's a long way from home, poor little lass. What are you looking at? Eric, I think you better go up and see Dee. <laughs> She's got to you, has she? What's she been saying, eh? That she is the poor little helpless victim and I'm the nasty Eric Pollard? Well, not this time. Will you belt up? Go and see your wife. I couldn't care if I never see my wife again. Eric, her mother's died. I mean, I like thee. Fair enough. But she didn't know the local clientele. Mia. I take the traditional and I add a certain, certain something. Yeah, a big dollop of ball. Anyway, everyone else grabs the main chance. Eric does. Dee did when she met him. Now Will Keynes is doing the same. While they're all at it, I'm quietly getting on with getting myself established. Dee's been good to you. She got you started with your cooking. She spotted me latent talent. <laughs> oh yeah. Should let me have a look at it sometime. You can have a deco now if you like. <laughs> What's going on? What does it look like? Where do you think you are? On bus station, the way people keep coming in and out of here all the time. Um, are you all right, Grandad? Ah, oh, maybe must know. I've landed myself a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You knew, didn't you? I'm sorry, darling. How could you? My brother said they tried to contact me. Well, do you know what the post is like from there? Phoned and left messages with you. My mother was dying and you didn't tell me. Do you really hate me so much? Well, of course I don't hate you. 
You received those letters, didn't you? I didn't open any of them, I promise you. How could you do such a cruel thing? I didn't know she was dying. I just thought she was on the scrounge. What? After more money. Is that how much respect you have for me and my family? Well, of course I respect you. Look, uh, I'm most dreadfully sorry. What more can I say? I was jealous and... You don't trust me either. I know I've behaved badly, but some good can come of this. It can bring us closer together. The only good is that now I know what you're really like. You look cheerful. That's funny, cos inside I'm fed up. What's to do? Not. Has Eric Pollard been on at you again? Wouldn't mind if he had been. Been ignoring me. Well, you know what he's like. Don't let it bother you. I'm not. What is it, then? Nothing. You can tell me. It's personal. Fair enough. Firemen are right show-offs, aren't they? Oh, I'm so glad Kelly's back where she belongs. That must be a great relief. Yes. Yeah. It must have been a traumatic time for her. Well, it's not just her, though, is it? I mean, it doesn't matter how old they are, as soon as they walk through that front door, you worry. And in her case, we have got good reason to. Still, at least you'll have a sympathetic ear. Not for me, she won't. Uh, like it, please, Alan. How's Kelly? I suppose you think she should have stuck with your Roy. Why would I want that? Why, what's the matter with her? Well, no, but I mean, our Roy's too young to settle down. Well, they're both there. Have you been home yet, Ned? Mommy we love. Just pulling for a swift one. That reporter's been up there. When? Well, Jan were pretty upset. Oh, Jan not set out to her, has she? No. Zack saw her off. <sighs> They'll be sniffing all over the village now. No one's going to entertain them, are they? Oh, sorry. Do you know how hard it's been for me here? People like you? More than they like me. At first they thought I was a prostitute. Well, now they know better. And then I discovered I'd come to live with a criminal. What? Well, that's what I was told. But I stuck with you because I'd made a commitment. Has that any reason? You still think it was for money? I was hoping it was for love. How can there be love with so much jealousy and deceit? Where are you going? I'm leaving you, Eric. It's over. Dear, you can't. It's over. 